Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to uh, a one-off video. We actually, I stopped by Walmart the other day and I saw these. I've seen a lot of openings with these and things like that, but I thought, hey, why not try and open a few of them on our channel? We ended up with three. Uh, so we're going to try and open all three of them and see if we get anything worthwhile. Um, obviously these are from very recent sets for the most part, and I don't really think anybody's found anything too valuable in them, but hey. We will see. Um, pull out the packs first. We do, of course, get a promo card in each one. This one is Thalia's Lancers. Uh, I believe almost every single one has opened the same one, but hey. All right, let's see what packs we got. So, Shadows over Innistrad, Conspiracy, which is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Battle for Zendikar. Amonkhet. Uh, we have Gate Crash. And we have Apocalypse. That's actually really interesting. Wow. Okay. Well, let's start with Gate Crash. Let's see what we get. Uh, I did not expect to see that, actually. Um, okay, so we'll very quickly go through commons. There's not really going to be anything too exciting, I don't believe. Uh, our uncommons here, Gift of Orizov, Voidwalk, Cinder Elemental, and our rare Glaring Spotlight. Uh, I don't think this is worth anything. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's worth anything. Uh, we will put rares aside, though. Let's see what we get. Okay, so, Amonkhet. Let's see what we get. Uh, okay. Again, very quickly through the commons, as it's not really that exciting. By Force, our first uncommon. Watchers of the Dead. Merciless Javelinier. And our rare, a Scattered Groves. That's cool that it's one of the lands. That's nice. And a Foil Seeker of Insight. Um, we, of course, do have our full art lands in this set as well. Uh, let's see. Battle for Zendikar. Maybe we'll get something cool. Uh, ch -ch -ch quickly. A lot of full arts in this uh, box opening. Uh, Rising Miasma. I might have said that incorrectly. Expedition Envoy. Wind Rider Patrol, and a Conduit of Ruin as our rare, and then of course a Full Art Swamp. Uh, let's see. Conspiracy. So this is a personal favorite of mine. I really like the Conspiracy sets, generally because they actually have really good reprints, and actually in this case, some interesting new cards. Uh, Dak Faden was new at the time. We have a Shipwreck Singer, Guard Hound, Keepsake Gorgon, and Followed Footsteps as our rare. Uh, we, of course, do have our Conspiracy card, in this case, Sovereign's Realm. Um, so, not that interesting of a pack, unfortunately, but Conspiracies were very fun to draft with. If you haven't had the opportunity, I would highly suggest you try it. Um, let's see. Shadows over in Estrad. I don't know that there's too much that I super care about in this set. Creeping Dead, Pack Guardian, Woodland Stream, and Deathcap Cultivator. Uh, not too exciting. And then, of course, we have our flip card. Um, and then, possibly the most exciting pack in here, Apocalypse, which, again, did not at all expect to see Apocalypse, but hey. Uh, and this has our uncommons first, so Jungle, Barrier, Foul Presence, Haunted Angel, and then our rare is Original Spirit Monger. That is actually really cool. Um, and then, of course, our commons. Nothing too exciting there. All right, one down, two to go. Let's see what we get in this one. Hopefully something like Apocalypse. That was really sweet, uh, to be honest. Things I did not expect to find in this little box. Um, I'd be interested to see what our promo is. I'm guessing it's gonna be another Thalia's Lancers, but hey, I could be wrong. Let's see. Pull our packs out here. Ooh, sorry about that. And... Our promo is stuck to the inside of the box. Here we go. Yep, Thalia's Lancers. No surprises there, unfortunately. Uh, let me move some of this stuff around a little bit. All right, so let's see what packs we got. Shadows of Renistrad, same. Uh, Conspiracy, Gate Crash, Theros, Dragon's Maze, and Battle for Zendikar. So unfortunately, the most exciting pack out of here is probably Conspiracy. Uh, at least for me, um, and there's really nothing all that exciting, so we'll see what we get. Uh, quickly through the commons here, Ooh, there we go, a vile uh, aggregate, 
Bloodbound Vampire. Malakir Familiar, I actually do love that card. Gruesome Slaughter as our rare. And then a full art, obviously. See what we get in Dragon's Maze. Notoriously one of the worst sets in Magic, I want to say. Uh, no real good commons. Uh, Bonds Beak Moa, Krasis Incubator, a Profit and Loss. And uh, we did get a legendary creature, Rakdos Blood Witch, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, not very good. Uh, is it Clue Stone? And then a Guild Gate there. Theros uh, has a couple interesting cards. There's Thoughtseize, there's Elspeth, uh, the gods themselves. Perforos is actually quite good. Uh, so maybe we'll get something cool. Ordeal of Perforos, speaking of. Flaming Speaker Adept. Spellheart Chimera. And Bow of Nylia. That's not actually terrible. I like that card. Back to Gate Crash. Uh, favorite card in Gate Crash. Night Veil Spectre is pretty sweet. I love that card. Uh, Viscopa Confessor, Ripscale Predator, Gateway Shade, and a Clan Defense. Unfortunately, not a very good card. Let's do Conspiracy Last just for the heck of it. See what we get in Shadows. Probably nothing too exciting, but hey, it's kind of fun to go through these. Uh, Ravenous Bloodseeker, Obsessive Skinner, uh, Silver Strike. Mind Rag Demon. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, Aberrant Researcher. That's actually really cool. Uh, if you don't know, that's sort of a shout out to uh, Delver. Kind of awesome. Uh, hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, and then Thraben Gargoyle. Uh, another flip card. It's cool to see it in foil. And then last, we have Conspiracy. Original Conspiracy. Or no, I'm sorry. This isn't original conspiracy, this is Take the Crown, as well as the first pack. My apologies, guys. Uh, in this one, we have another Guard Hound, a Sky Scout, a Predation, and a Dusk Mantle Seer. Alright. Nothing too exciting in that one, unfortunately, but we do have one more left to go. Hopefully we can get something interesting in this one. Another cool pack of Apocalypse would do pretty nicely. Um... Really interesting to see original Spirit Monger. Wow, they really sealed this one up, didn't they? Um, I think it will be very interesting to see if we get the promo, the same promo, and already. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. No surprise, I guess, right? We shouldn't be too surprised. Uh, we have a Battle for Zendikar, Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze, Theros, Shadow, and Conspiracy. <laughs> Uh, the exact same packs, I believe, as the last one. Uh, we'll start with Shadows this time. See what we get. Uh, it's actually a good card. Uh, Epitaph Golem. Dance with Devils. Sinister Concoction. Excuse me. Uh, Silver Fur Partisan. Uh, interesting card. I don't think it's actually any good, though. Uh, let's see. Theros. Probably our best hope for something good here. Uh, other than maybe Conspiracy. Artisan Sorrow. Triton Fortune Hunter. Warrior's Lesson. And Reverent Hunter. Not what we were hoping for there. Dragon's Maze. What do we want out of Dragon's Maze? Voice of Resurgence. Or Ralzaric maybe would be kind of nice. Uh, Crypt Incursion. Uh, Maw of the Obsidot. Woodlot Crawler, Gleam of Battle, oh wow, okay, well, I will take that, Voice of Resurgence, that is a great pickup, um, the card itself, I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but it looks a little bent there, but that's pretty good, that's about as good as it gets, I think, so, happy to see that, um, Gate Crash, uh, maybe still Night Veil Spectre is what we're hoping for, I just happen to really like that card, uh, Illness in the Ranks, Cartel Aristocrat, Crowned Ceratok, and a Frontline Medic as our rare. Uh, which, I should say, at the time of Standard, there was a deck that did run Frontline Medic. Uh, Selesnya good stuff, maybe? Um, and it was actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, Grove Rumbler. Acomb Stonewalker. Blighted Gorge. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. 
as our rare, and then a full art island. And our very last pack out of these three very silly chaos packs, uh, pack of conspiracy, let's see, the third guard hound, <laughs> uh, fleshbag marauder, storm chaser chimera, and our rare, uh, gratuitous violence, unfortunately not a good card, and a foil hurly burly. Uh, and then a rare Conspiracy Emissary's Ploy. Well, guys, the highlight... Excuse me for hitting the camera there. The highlight is Voice of Resurgence, I believe. I don't think there was really anything else that was too exciting. Original Spirit Monger's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, if you guys are thinking about picking these up, I would highly suggest that you do not, because they are definitely not worth it. Um... It's never good to just buy packs outright anyway, to be honest, unless you're drafting them. Uh, but if you're just opening them, really not a good idea. So I would definitely suggest do not open these. They are not worth it. But hey, I did it so you don't have to. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this little one-off video. And I guess we will see you in the next video. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, have a good week, guys. I'll see you in the next one.